three, two, one. Jen is gonna be upset at first, but then I think she'll be excited. I'm driving to Best Buy. I'm going to buy a Canon 80D. Yes, I know, another camera, an older camera. Why am I buying an 80D? Well, I'll show you next video. Uh, no, that's it for today. Can you hear me a sec? Look what I got. Are you excited? Are you mad? Yeah. To which one? So, she actually was a little mad, but let me explain why I bought this camera, the Canon 80D, two years after it came out, two years after I reviewed it, and when I owned a bunch of other cameras. So the first reason is after buying this, I was going to meet up with some people that are working on a, what I'll say is a camera accessory, something to help vloggers out. And I won't say anything more than that about it, but I wanted a camera of this size to test it with. So that was the first reason. Reason number two is that I think the Canon 80D is actually the best vlogging camera that's out right now in March, 2018 for a lot of reasons, mainly because external audio, great face tracking autofocus, lightweight lenses and build, has some slow motion, kind of, with 60p, has time lapse, so it has all these features that are perfect for vlogging, and so that's the main reason that I got this camera. Reason number three is that I get way too precious with my camera gear. I have more expensive cameras. I have a RED camera, I have a Canon C100, I have another Canon C100, and I lock those up. I'm afraid someone's gonna steal them. I am really careful when I use them, and that actually keeps me from making videos, specifically for somewhere like YouTube. It keeps me from putting videos out, from hitting record, from having just the camera ready to go with memory cards and batteries in it, so I can put more stuff out for you guys. That kind of perfectionism actually keeps me from publishing. So I don't know what keeps you from publishing, but I'd love to hear in the comments below this video you know, what keeps you from hitting record or getting more videos out on somewhere like YouTube. The fourth reason is I already have a lot of Canon stuff. I have a bunch of EFS lenses that are perfect for something like a crop sensor Canon 80D, like this 10 to 18, which is super wide and awesome. This 55 to 250, which on a crop sensor goes all the way to 400 millimeters. So if you're out and about, and you're trying to snipe a shot of someone, this is a great combo. So between this 10 to 18, this 55 to 250, and then the 18 to 35 that comes with it. These are all stabilized, which is perfect for vlogging, for running and gunning and getting your shots. And just, it's a wide focal range that's just kind of perfect. And these are lightweight versus my L-series lenses, which are really ex expensive and heavy. And if they fall, they break, that's thousands of dollars for some of them. So I just want some lightweight, easy to use lenses that are cheaper, that if something happens to them and my vlogging rig falls over, I don't have to worry about it too much. I also have a ton of these, these Canon LPE6 batteries. I don't know, I probably have like six or seven of these between owning a 60D as my first DSLR and then we have a couple 5D Mark III's. So we have a bunch of these, makes it super easy to just have a bunch of the chargers, have a bunch of these ready to go. I need to record something, you just throw in in the camera. This camera can take pretty much any SD card. This card's probably about five years old. Put that in there, ready to go. Now I gotta throw the lens on here. Go like that. Cap off. I'm gonna use a Rode VideoMic Pro. This isn't the newest one that turns on automatically. Maybe eventually Rode will send me that one or I'll get to use it, but this one I always gotta remember to turn it on. Put it there in the hot shoe. Screw it down. Let's go mic jack. It's all set up. Turn this on, put it in manual mode, and we're ready to rock. With the face tracking autofocus and the decent sound with the Rode mic on top, this is kind of the perfect vlogging rig, in my mind, minus 120 frames per second, which I can live without, honestly. So the fifth reason why I wanted to pick up a Canon 80D in 2018 to do some vlogging is because I just wanted a dedicated camera only for picking up, filming YouTube videos, and just being a little bit more raw. One thing I struggle with on the internet, on social media, on YouTube, is 
being completely polished with everything that I put out there. Everything has to be perfectly lit, perfectly framed, perfectly in focus, perfectly perfect. And this is something I'm trying to do better at and to be okay with something that's a little less polished to get more stuff out there that can help more people. It's something that's been holding me back. So my first world YouTuber problem is I now have a camera specifically for that and I have cameras specifically for my client work that I do that people pay thousands of dollars for and that's okay because they need it to be in 4K. They need it to be higher quality visual, visually and I'm okay with that. But for my stuff, I can just focus on the content, the things that I'm sharing with you, the things I'm trying to teach you how to do with your cameras and go from there. So even when all my cameras are packed for a shoot and it's the night before I fly somewhere, like I'm going to New York City in a couple days, this camera will still be there ready for me to be able to film something and put more out. So hopefully you will see the quantity of videos go up on this YouTube channel. Hopefully you'll see the storytelling be a little better because I'll be more mobile and I won't always have my cameras down on a little tripod like this guy. But overall, I really just want to be putting out more stuff for you. So I'd love to hear in the comments below this video what keeps you from recording videos. I kind of want to make a video that's just all the different little things that keep me from pressing record on a video like shaving my head or being dressed. I mean, I am usually wearing clothes, you know what I mean? And maybe putting in my contacts, you know, all the little things that keep me from making a video because I think people can relate to that. What keeps you from making a video? I'd love to hear in the comments below this video. Oh, and one more thing. I'm gonna try to show more behind the scenes when I am doing a client shoot. Try to show you my process of what equipment I bring, how do I pack it, how do I travel with all this stuff, how do I do the shoots that I do for my clients. So I have a couple shoots coming up. Like I said, this one in New York City, one up in LA soon. And they're not like high profile music videos or commercials or something like that. Just talking head, testimonial style, online course videos for the type of clients that I have. So I'd love to show more of that process. And if you wanna see more of that too, let me know in the comments below. And I hope to see you in those videos as well. Peace.